Good morning children. Today I am Mrs. Preksha Singh and I am going to teach you about English. Topic singular and plural noun. It is class, it is for class third. Before going to the topic, I am requesting to you all, please subscribe our channel St. Xavier Senior Secondary School Hardoi. Click bell icon on your mobile phone for your further notification. So, let's go and start our topic that is the singular and plural noun. So, now we will start our topic that is singular and plural naming words or nouns. First of all, I would like to tell you what is singular. Singular means one. Singular nouns means those nouns or naming words that denotes a single entity. Entity means single person, single thing, th single place. Understand? These things are known as the singular nouns. Means one. If you see anything one, only one, then you th that is the singular. In this picture, you can see chair is single. Boy is single, park is single. These are under the consideration of singular nouns. Now, our topic is plural nouns. Plural means more than one, two and three. Means those nouns or naming words that denotes more than one kind of nouns. Means in this picture, first picture you can see boys are two. Means they are two. Num in number that's why they are called as boys puppy you can see more than two means three number is three that's why they are known as the puppies here place place two places park also you can see beach you can also see so these are under consideration of plural nouns means places things so many things are here that's why we have add as make as plural noun Generally, we are adding for as for making the plural nouns. In singular nouns, generally we are adding as and make uh, it in the plural nouns. In this picture, you can see fan. Fan is single, means singular noun. If we want to make a plural noun, then we add as. Generally, we are adding as in the nouns for making the plural. So many examples are here. Pen. Make it plural in the pens, adding as cat, adding as cats, dog, adding as dogs, tree, adding as trees. But in English, always exceptions are there. So, in this exceptional case, first rule is in the plural nouns and the singular nouns, the nouns that have that end in the hissing sound hissing sound you can see the word end with the letter ch s double s sh or x they form plural by adding es if you can see in any word any noun ends with the ch s s s sh or x then what you have to add you have to add only es not es you have to e add only es not s understand it, again i am telling to you if any noun or any word ending with a letter ch s s s s h x then what you have to add you have to add es to make it plural Example sponge. Punch is adding with the ch. So what you have to add? You have to add es. Bus. Bus is end with the s. What you have to add? You have to add es. Buses. Axes. Axes ends with the ss. You have to add es. So axes. Fish. Fish had end with the letter sh. You have to add es. Make it plural. Fox. You have to add es. For make it plural foxes. Now rule number two. All the words ending with O. Letter O. We add ES to make them plural. Cargo, mango, eco, torpedo, flamingo. What you have to add like SH, SCH, SS, S or X. In O, o also you have to add ES. For making them plural. 
Now, rule number three. When a naming words or noun ends with the letter Y, what you have to do? You have to remove Y from the singular noun and in place of Y, you have to add I, E, S. For example, in this picture, you can see Barry. Barry ends with the letter Y. Okay, so what you have to do make for making plural? You have to remove Y and in place of Y, you have to add I, E, S. Berries. Okay. Like that, lady. Lady also ends with the Y and in place of Y, you remove Y. You will add I, E, S for making them it plural. So, lady is a singular word and ladies is a plural word. But here also some exceptions are there. Boy. Boy is ending with the letter by. But boys plural is B-O-I-E-S is not. Why? Because when the noun ends with the by but before by any vowel. Vowel you know A-E-I-O-U is there. Then you have to not remove by you have to add only s for example in boy boy b o y you will make as plural b o y s because before by a vowel is there like that keys k e y e before y in this spelling the before y is vowel e e is a vowel so what you have to add you have to add only k e y s because just now i told you when a letter when a noun ends with the letter y but before y any vowel is there you have to add only s not i e s so the rule number three, in summary, you can say whenever Y comes after a consonant which uh, is a letter other than vowels, we will remove the letter Y and add IES to make it plural naming word or noun. Singular. Berry. Berry. Before Y, R is a consonant. So, what you have to do, you have to remove Y and add IES. Now, rule number four. When a naming word end in F or FE, change the F or FE into VES. What you have to do? Sup suppose in this example you can see leaf. Leaf end with the letter F. What you have to do? You remove F. In place of F, you will re put VES to make it plural. Another example you can see half. Half is also ends with the letter F. In place of F for making plural, you will add V E S halves. Another example, wife, W I F E. The letter, the let, naming word end with the letter F E. So what you have to do in this F E you have to remove and add V E S wives. Now rule number 5. Some words have completely different plural forms. Means neither you have to add S, neither nor ES or nor VES or nor IES. What completely spellings change? Singular for example cactus, cacti. Child, children. Child is single, singular noun. Children. So many childs are there. That's why the plural is children. In this also person. Single person is there. But so many persons are there. Then the plural form is the pupil. Now next rule number is 6. Some words have same singular and plural forms. For example sheep. Singular also sheep. And plural also sheep. Like that, another example is spectals. Spectals, singular also, plural also, same as. Trousers, trousers, singular also trouser and plural also trousers. 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड